All righty. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, bloody Velcro. It is really early in the morning. It's like 20 past five. And I got up because I woke up early because there were thunderstorms. And I was like, ah, ah. But it's okay because I wake up early to go to work anyway. And yeah, I looked at my phone and it's like, where's all my uploads? So apparently my internet crashed a little bit over the night. It does that sometimes. I might have to sit around with my settings because I've got it on extremely fast speed to get the speed out but apparently there's some uh, danger that it can uh, drop out every now and then so I might have to start taking that seriously because an extra 5k 10k upload or something might not be worth it if the damn thing drops out overnight so I might have to play around with that oh it's only dropped out a couple of times but if it keeps doing it might have to do it anyway some good news for you guys who actually like watching these videos I got a new chair, so I'm going backwards and forwards. You might be able to hear it a little bit, but it is not squeaky at all. And it's actually a bit more comfortable, but it is a very nice chair. It's got the mesh back. It's got the comfortable bottom. It's beautiful. Absolutely love it. Cost me a bit, but hey, you know, I sit on this chair a lot, so it needs to be good. I did not want to be getting a sore ass after only an hour or so, because that is... Yeah, it just not would not be good. So anyway, what's our deal here? We said we were going to do lithia, and we are going to do lithia. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, go away, robots. I want my night vision to last. Or is it morning? The lights are still on. I don't, I'm not sure if it's getting darker or if it's getting brighter. I really don't know. But anyway, we are going to head off, and we're going to start doing lithia water. And lithia products, and... I'm not sure if we'll get all the way out to, uh, whatchamacallit, to lithium bars and lithium percolate this episode. Uh, where is our lithia? Ugh, right down there. Right below the janky old lead line, which is looking more and more jankier as time goes on. This is, yeah. We're going to run out of this fairly soon. We're using barely any of it. Barely any of it, but still... That is going to get used up. So, doom, 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 doom. Ah, uh, you know what? My voice is f feeling a bit funny. This is this is lithia. It doesn't. It looks a lot brighter on the map than it does over here. Lithia water. Let's let's just have a quick drink real quick. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. My voice my voice feels a bit funny, but um, <clears throat> yeah, that's weird. So, anyway, we'll just have to deal with it. Uh, water pump. Do we want to mark two? We need bronze. Uh, bronze is copper and tin. So we already got bronze. Should we get mark twos for this? Uh, double the speed, but I don't think it really matters because it's just like, yeah, two, who really cares? I'm not sure I do. Uh, what do you need? logic boards for a bloody pump jack. I suppose this needs basic boards, so... Okay, let's just do what we did with oil, which is get a small amount of them. This is tin, this is copper, so we don't want to uh, overwrite those. So we might go up. What do we need to do with water? Okay, so we need to, uh, we need to smelt it. Okay, this is the point where we start using electric smelters, I feel like, because... Uh, what is this? We want the red one. Are you the red one? You look like the red one. Alright, we'll make 20 of those. And, yeah, we'll do a decent amount here. Please tell me I got the red one. That looks like the red one. I think the metal mixing furnace is green. And then you got the multi-purpose furnace, which is all sorts of pain to build. So, yes, give me... Beautiful. It's beautiful. Three, four... Five, you need to turn, 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 turn to every something there is a season. Yep, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. And go over there. Once again, not really caring too much about pipes and all of that sort of jazz. Uh, we just want to get this working. But we will put a few underground pipes here and there. Because it's just good for business, I think. Ah, oh, where did all my music go? I have to make up for the music not being here by actually sounding like I know what I'm talking about, as opposed to what I usually do, or something like that. 
So we're going to put some tanks right here. And give me a beacon. Beacon. Right there. And then we need a long pole. And you can just get a normal pole. Alrighty. Lithia water goes up quite fast. And this is yield 1078%. So that is really, really fast. So now we just need... And we're just going to stretch it over to the left. We'll bypass this tin ore line. I feel like we can get the uh, lithium ore or lithium thingamabob lines going normally. And wait, 20. That's what I thought. Uh, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we put a gap. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you are going to be lithium chloride. Yup. Yup. You turn. Yeah. Press the R button as fast as I can while running across. Does not work as well as I might have thought. And we could put. Technically, we could put undergrounds there, but that's like. Yeah. Doesn't seem as good of an idea as it might, but we really are getting into the the bobs here. The uh, the bobs. This is like the first real bobs manufacturing that we've done at our main base. So very very exciting, and yeah, my voice is definitely feeling a little bit funky. So I'm gonna take like a uh, after this video, I might take like a cough drop or something. Um, you know what? Actually. I'm going to put a pause in the video and I'm going to take a bit of a cough drop now and I'll come back in like 10 minutes when it's uh, knocked through. So I'll be back in just a sec. Alrighty, we are back and our Velcro has gotten a bit funny again, but that is all good. And yes, my voice feels a little bit better now. Um, for some reason, I discovered this while I was doing a Starcraft uh, casting uh, a few years ago that if you take a uh, Strepsil's orange cough drop before casting, your voice just feels a lot better. And I'm a bit of a cougher, actually. I cough quite a bit. I don't know why. It's not like just a general sickness. It's something else. Um, but it seems to really help with that. Like, and just in general, my voice feels better if I take a cough drop beforehand. Lately, though, I've been so excited about casting that I just, like, go without the cough drop because I'm just like you know what I just want to cast I just want to get in there and do some stuff and of course if you have a cough drop you have to wait um you can't just go in and cast straight away you actually have to wait um which is which is the downside of it you got like 10 minutes of stuff where you just have to sort of sit there and not do anything and wait for the cough drop to go through so alrighty we have got our uh, lithium thingamabob stuff. So, are we going to need to expand this? That is the question. I feel like the answer is probably no at the moment. I feel like we are fine. Because uh, that built a lot of them very, very quickly. And it's, it's water, so... Yeah, that really built a lot of them very quickly. So I'm, I don't think we're going to worry about not having enough of these. Um, <clears throat> although I may be wrong, so we will uh, we'll leave a bit of space here, I guess. Leave a bit of space here. I was going to barrel this stuff as well. Well, not barrel, but feed it into a chest. But I don't think I'm going to do that. I mean, I could do it for <clears throat> um, everything. But I'm not going to worry about it. So let's get cracking onto the actual stuff. So this guy, lithium bars, are the simplest. And they require three and a half seconds to do stuff. Whereas this requires half a second. So we really need a lot of these machines. Well, we're not working out ratios here because I don't know how much uh, cobalt we really need. I have a feeling it's not a lot. I mean, if we have a look at the batteries, uh, you need one 
lithium cobalt oxide per battery. So you need half a lithium per battery. And this sort of stuff is, uh, it's interesting actually, uh, seven seconds. So that's gonna take ages. So if we have like 20 of those machines, say, building uh, lithium cobalt oxide, it takes, <clears throat> you take one lithium every seven seconds. So if we have 20 machines building lithium cobalt oxide, then we only need 10 machines building lithium. And we probably need even less building this stuff, but we built 20 of the bastards. So I'm gonna build 20 guys doing this, but I don't know if I'm gonna make them big guys. Glass. Oh man, I just got a heart of glass going through my head. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but still, I mean, all right, crafting speed is starting to matter here. So this is 0 0.8 and this is 1.5. Okay, bones to you, mate. We are not doing that. We are doing the 1.5 because I want me glass. I want to be glass, I want it. Give me some of that. 203 glass, and these need 10 each. So that's exactly 20 we can build. Excellent, once we get all the other stuff we need. What else do you need? Stone. There we go, that's beautiful. Oh God, was that Blondie, I think? I think that was Blondie. 16. Uh, UPS up sell out. Become a patron. I don't know if I would say I enjoy the mod. I installed it and it works. Um, does that mean I enjoyed it? I really don't know. It depends on your definition of enjoyment because it's like I'm more content. I'm content that it's working. But enjoyment is like a level above contentment, I like to think. So I don't know if I can... Um, actually go onto Patreon and, you know, actually really support it and be like the fully supportive person that they want me to be. Um, I, j I just don't know. I just don't know if it's in me. Ah, uh, you guys. So we're going to do what we like to do, which is split this and then you split, split. Ah, uh, these guys need one every 3.5 seconds. So what we're going to do here is we're going to yellow belt this. Because we don't need a lot of this belt. And what's going to happen is this lithium chloride is going to get split into two here. And since through... And this is technically... We still should make like red belts or something here if we wanted through full throughput. But... We don't really need it, and we're going to split off this blue belt earlier on as well for the percolate. So I think this is fine. I think if we split this off earlier for the percolate, and then split it into yellows here, then technically these aren't going to be full throughput anyway, because <coughs> a yellow is good for... Three yellows are good for one blue belt, and we're technically going to be splitting that blue belt off into four yellows. So that's fine. That ish fine. Goddamn tree. Oh, that guy died quickly. Love these. Do I have... I don't have infinite range. I could shoot this, but I can't shoot that. Oh, my voice is still sounding a little bit funny. Ah, uh, that's not good. Not good at all. Anyway, we're getting closer to getting the good stuff going. We need a lot more inserters. Inserters. So we're in uh, technically about... 10 minutes into this episode. I'm seeing six and a half minutes, but that's because I took a break. Uh, so that's fine. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll try and get both of those lithium products done up to the point where we need the cobalt oxide. So we should be able to get lithium bars done. And yeah, I don't know what else we can really get done. We can get, yeah, we can get lithium percolate done. I'm pretty sure. And then the lithium bars are kind of useless by themselves. We need to make lithium cobalt oxide. Now this guy is slow as crap. 3.5, one for one. So what did I just do? Da. Yoink. Done. Substations. 
I feel like we can kind of do substations as well if we really wanted to. In the in the mall is what I'm saying. Because I've been saying we need to do that for a while now, and I kind of haven't done it yet. And I kind of really should. Let's get some long poles. The long pole in the tent. Beautiful. Okay. It's interesting. Will a yellow belt actually do the job here? I feel like the yellow belt will do the job. So, lithium bars. You are out and you are ready to go. And we need lithium bars for cobalt oxide, definitely. And I think we just focus on batteries. I think that's all we need to focus on. So lithium cobalt oxide, done. Lithium percolate. Okie dokie 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 dokie. So that is a chemical thingamabob. And this needs lithium chloride and pure water. So, and it needs these bloody electrolyzers as well. So we're going to build a bunch more of these. Ah, oh, we need more glass. Oh, what a pain in the ass. <laughs> oh, it rhymes. I could be a uh, hit selling musician if I wanted to. Expected resources 245. Did we really beat the crap out of this or what? Okay, we'll keep you going. Uh, is this the point where I need to set up glass? Is this doing glass? This is doing tin or lead, one or the other. Uh, okay, um, yeah, I feel like this is the point where we need to do glass because glass is starting to become something that I actually want for actual stuff like this. Uh, so we're going to do it. Uranium's kind of... No, that's not uranium. That's silicon. And we are all the way past the smelting setup. So uh, I've been having to think, actually. And what's going to happen is this is going to be torn down. The power is going to be torn down once we get solar. All of these are going to be torn down. This lake is going to be filled in. And this whole thing, all of this that my mouse is hitting is going to become a massive smelting area. So we're going to smelt everything in that area and just go nuts. And I mean, the lake I can afford to destroy because we don't need it. I mean, we can just pump in water from anywhere we want. We could get rid of the lake right now and upgrade the um, upgrade the bloody uh, furnaces or the boilers or whatever to use the magical water source from the ground, which, you know what? It's not cheating. I know I, I feel like it's cheating because I keep saying it's cheating and I'm probably the only one who thinks it's cheating, but it's not cheating, okay? It's all good. Why are you still doing this? You're going into a chest. You don't need to be doing that. You don't need to be doing that either. You guys just not following the plan. Tin as well. I could have sworn I fixed all these. Maybe I just fixed copper. Yeah, I fixed copper and I fixed iron and I might have fixed steel. Where's me steel? No, that's, that's the that's the crap up the top. Yeah, I fixed deal. Okay. All good. Continue with your noble work. And we got this. We're not running out of these guys, though. How is our... Because we're backed up so heavily here. How is this going? We got 13 and we got 1.3k. That 1 to 100 ratio is really, really close. Uh, we're not anywhere close to yellow sign. So I feel like we should have 40 by the time we get over there. Although I'd like to get more. I'd like to have like a couple of hundred. So then we can, yeah. Then we can start working a bit more on having the Kovarak started up a lot better. So, oh God, if I capture that one, I don't want to capture that one because that's got stone underneath it. We don't want stone underneath it. Or do we? Because then we could put the silicon underneath that. Now we got the silicon up the top there, so that's fine. Uh, we just need a completely separate line full of completely separate things. And we will just put it down here. Because as I said, this is probably going to get torn down. So this is very, very temporary. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, <coughs> ah, my voice is really not that good this morning. Uh, but I love Factoria, so I have to play it. It's just the way it is. Okay, you need to do that. And then, of course, we're at a yellow belt. Let's not build some. Let's take some from the yellow belt repository. There we go. 
yellow belt goes under the blue belt, goes around the light, goes over there, goes in there. Lazy robots need to get off their asses. Please, please tell me that I have at least some of this stuff that's missing. Like, at least some of it. Alright, so move over there so they can do that. Let's take a single, no, steel. Give me some steel. Quick. Give me those. I can hear something crowing outside. It can't be roosters, because I'm not living in America and anyway I'm in the suburbs, but it's interesting. Oh, we got exactly enough to make 25. Beautiful. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, beautiful. <coughs> yeah. Oh, we copied something that still had wooden poles. Ah, you morons. Let's just build some of these guys. Not enough ingredients. I am well aware of that, but I've got as many as I need. And thankfully, we dumped all of the uh, wooden poles out of our inventory, so we don't have to worry about that. What's the number? There we go. All right, we're not going to shoot this all the way down to the bus just yet. Uh, because we I don't think we need to. We're just going to chuck them all into a chest. And we're going to take what we need. What is your problem, buddy? There we go. What is your problem? Stupid robots. There we go. Put it down. Pick them up and put them down. There we go. Excellent. Now that's a little bit of glass. And we can now... Fulfill our dreams of having, oh god, look at that, <laughs> look at that, oh man, alright, let's just build this guy, glass, that was a lot of glass actually, that filled up very quickly, so now we just need steel, and we're going to build 20 of these, I guess, so we need 200 O steel, okay, let's go in, <coughs> okay, I think this is the only video I'm going to do right now, because this cop is really getting me down, and uh, I don't know. Maybe I've just been casting too much. Not really sure, but I definitely don't feel like I'm at the top of my game right now. Stone. Damn it. So, yeah, we're going to do this one video today. Uh, it's kind of irrelevant because I'm still uploading five of the videos that I did yesterday, so it's not like we've got uh, nothing to do. It's not like I'm kind of holding up the entire thing by being crook. God, we're always running out of something. Well, not crook, but just a little bit. Voice is a little bit funny. So anyway, I am happy to just do one video today. Well, I'm not happy about it, but it's not really much I can do. Eight. Why are we always running out of things? Copper. Yeah, that'll be the one thing that'll be awesome about having bots. You can just have this massive logistics network in the main base. I don't know if I'll even separate out the resource train unloading and the actual main base. I think I'll just make them one big logistics network. So that's six, and we've already got two, so that's 12. Beautiful. Now, you, you need to go up one. Because I'm going to slip the other guy right in here. And what are we doing here? We are building lithium. Percolate. Lithium chloride electrolysis. Alright, excellent. So, you need water to do stuff. Pure water. So we've got 20 machines, um, all going at a speed of 1.5, and they need 10 water every second. So, each one needs 15 water a second, because they're up to speed. And we've got 20 of them. So we need 300 pure water every second. What are you doing? You are creating 100 pure water every two seconds. So we need 60 of you guys. 60 of you guys. At 60 of you guys if you're doing a speed of one. But of course you're doing a speed of two, so we need three of you. Uh, and then we need... Uh, we'll, get, we'll get a water well pump for each of them because it's just easier. Lights. Give me my lights. Is that the American National Anthem? I feel like maybe it is. I don't know why I'm singing that. 
I actually looked at my viewership and I don't have that many very can viewers. It's just like, I think it's like Australian and Swedish. So good on you, Swedish guys. Um, I guess they're just really, really huge factor Factoria lovers, which is awesome. Yeah, I can get behind that. We should be able to, we should be able to get water in here as well as the belts. I think that should be fine. So we'll get a thing. Technically we could reuse that belt maybe, but I feel like that's kind of bad, bad design choices to be doing that sort of stuff if we don't need to. Okay, so blue. We're gonna have a blue splitting off into two blue belts here, which is pretty all right. We kind of don't need it. We could have had blue splitting off into two reds, but I don't know if I really want to use reds for anything anymore. It kind of seems like a waste to uh, use that. <coughs> so, we're not. We're just going to use yellows for everything. And you, lithium percolate. So you're a one for one with these guys. So, I don't know. 20 machines. And they're building one every year. Uh, maybe a yellow belt output is not going to be enough for these guys. But I, maybe we need to switch it over to a blue. We can switch it over to a blue, that's fine. Uh, okay, and you need some of these and some of those. Alrighty. Okay, so now, now we have to... Uh, this actually needs to be shifted over a bit because we need extra power over here we need to completely cover that entire area and i think we need it for this one as well mm, yep all right so now the entrance for these guys is going to be over here so we're going to have to do something a bit funky but it should be good so we are going to do this and then this and then that goes out to there and then you guys are like that and comes out like that so now we're going to blueprint that particular bit of fluff and we're going to get rid of this guy because we don't need him. Two, three, four, five. And you need to go all the way up there. So that is beautiful. And then we'll do the other one as well. One. I love how I got rid of the electrolyzer from the blueprint, but it still has the electrolyzer as the blueprint image. I don't know how it figured that out, but somehow it thinks that's the good idea. So we'll just let it do whatever it needs to do. And what did we say? We needed three things doing pure water. And let's get a couple of tanks up here as well. Um, so you want a tank there, and we want a tank there. And we will go like that. <clears throat> nice little squarish sort of deal and then one two three they look like they lined up beautifully but the fact is this is actually a square that's below this square but it's all good uh, we really need to get some poles out of the tent or out of the mall one or the other uh, give me some poles give me some more give me some more if you're wondering why I keep saying that, it's from a Queens of the Stone Age song. I think it's, uh, you think I ain't worth a dollar, but I feel like a millionaire. And I love that song. And uh, it's, they, they sing that bit along. Give me some more, give me some more. That's beautiful. Uh, I sound like a bit of a tall singing Queens of the Stone Age. So I'm not going to do that, but <clears throat> I love that song. Give me some more. There we go. So why are you not working? Pure water from water. Why would you ever make pure water from lithium water when you can make it from normal water? I suppose this is a separate mod, the water well pump. Um, so if you're playing pure bobs, maybe you don't have this mod. But still, I mean, you would do it. You don't have. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh, that's right. Um, oh, yes, that's right. Forgot about that bit. So we need gas venting pump. Dun, 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 dun. I'm pretty sure these are tiny and I'm pretty sure we can just whack these in here. Uh, I think I saw that somewhere. 
Okay. That seems to have worked. You had 60 uh, when I put a gas venting pump. I actually put them in pairs. So I put a gas venting pump. Now you have nothing. You are awesome. Can I put one down while I've got this selected? Uh, yes, I can. That gas venting pump works really well. So there we go. I love it. I think we have previous bobs. I've had gas venting, but I've had some other dodgy, uh, dodgy thing. It's like a flare stack or something, and it's a four by four, and it needs electricity. Well, this guy needs electricity as well, but the flare stack needs a lot more. Uh, but you could put solids in that as well. But we got the void chest for that, so it's all good. There we go. So I don't think we need to worry about hydrogen, getting lots of hydrogen. We can just get that anywhere we want. And now we have got lithium percolate. 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 And we are not going to be busting these things, I don't feel like. We're not going to be busting lithium percolate. We're just going to build uh, lithium ion batteries right at the start. So what do we need uh, for lithium cobalt oxide? We need cobalt oxide, which means we need, not that. No, there's no cobaltite on the map. We need this. So what we're going to do is next episode, we are going to set up something for this copper plate and we're going to set up a fancy setup so that this guy produces copper plate and our system will always use this copper plate before it uses, um, before it uses the other one, which is just straight smelted. And this is actually better because you get seven copper ore and you turn it into nine plates. So technically, you're getting more out of your copper ore, but you're using carbon and you're using stone. So you basically, carbon is just coal, I think. Yeah, it's just coal, coal, water, and stone using up to get that. But I feel like that's a pretty good deal. You get 11 products, use up technically like eight, including the stone, eight and a half, including carbon and hydrogen is free. So anyway, my voice is just feeling worse and worse and worse. So I'm going to finish this off here. And <clears throat> unfortunately, I don't know if I'm going to do any videos for the next few hours. Maybe it's just casting at five in the morning is just bad for my voice or I've been casting too much. But anyway, finish it off here. Maybe later today if I feel better. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I will catch you guys later.